Okay, today we're going to do a butterfly chain pull. I have a request for it, and I have some leftover paints and one little canvas left, so I'm going to go ahead and do a video. Um, paints, acrylic paint of your choice, anything. I use the Flood, and it's three to one. One part paint, three parts flood. Add a little bit of water and uh, thin it down until your paints. Um, that's not, I need to stir up some. These, like I said, my old paints, but stir it up so your paint will run off of your stick, but not too much because you want it a little thicker for the chain pull. Um, so we're going to coat the canvas with white. We're here in my basement. Let me set this up so you can see it. Get my gloves on. I have chains that I use and I just cut them into different sizes so they're easier to maneuver. And I'm um, just going to take my white, cover the canvas, and um, I like be using a little spatula because I can spread it out. You don't want it thick because as you chain pull, you'll be pulling the paint to the center. So you definitely want to get off your excess. So I just get everything all coated. Not real neat about it. Just try not to get it on me. I do particularly like my pair of sweats I got on today. But came down here in the basement and saw that these paints needed used up, so I thought, well, why not? Okay, so here's my paint. You see the lines, get it to run off. And I want it to literally, I want it to be thin. So I might even take a little bit more out of the center, because that's where you're going to be adding paint. So now that we got our thin paint on my paper towels, and I'm going to do some flowers or whatever, something to put the butterfly on um, using my, let's see, I'll use my longer chain, this one. And basically I'm just going to dip it in. To a paint. Just throw the whole chain in. And then I use my um, stick because you don't want it to bubble on it. You don't want the excess paint. I wipe it off and So to do like a leaf or something, I'm just going to start at the bottom, take it up, and then you're just going to come back down, drop it off on the end. I like to pull from the inside out, so it's already soaking in, so I'm pulling to get my leaf. Get your paper towel, since I'm using the same color, wipe it off. Going back in, just not as far. Just 
set the edges and bring it down. So that's all I'm going to do in the green. I'm going to rinse real quick. Working in a really old basement. Doesn't matter what you get on the floor. And you can play all you want. Okay, I'm gonna change my length of chain to a little smaller. And now I'm gonna layer my paints and I'm gonna do it at the white there, but it'll be okay. I'm not being really precise in this procedure today because I just wanna get it done. So yellow at the top, then I'm going to go some blue in the middle, and a little purple, not much because I like the butterfly out of purple, so no, I'm not going to do purple, I'll do the blue. is put the paints, hopefully you can see this, my tip in the yellow, and I'm just going to bring them down into different colors. Let me see what you're getting. Oh, you're not getting it. Okay, so there I have my paints over here. I laid them out. Now I'm pulling it up out of my chain. I'm just going to do a little flower. Let the drippage come off at the bottom. I like to grab a stick sometimes just to help guide it. Let it soak in a little bit and then pull straight towards you. Okay. I'll do it again. Lighter, get a little bigger flower. Now we're going to do the butterfly because we don't need much more here. I do like to take the chain in my paintings and make some lines. Now 
I'm going to go with my shorter chains and I want to do my butterflies to wipe that off later. So I'm going to do the top of my butterfly. Got some gold here. down here. Alright, so gold. Okay, we'll start with gold and purple. Um, my small chain, since this is a small painting. And I want to start it off with the purple, with the gold being my point, and then back into the purple. So I've got a kind of, so I'm going to go purple and the gold for the point. And a good thing I dropped that in the right spot. right here, go up to the gold is the point, bring it back down, back into where we started, hold the thought, pull it in, and then wipe her off, or grab another chain because you don't want to. Alright, the next part of this I'm going to put in, let's see, what haven't I used? And same thing, but this one is just so solid or not. We'll go gold in this one too. So blue here. And some gold to the bottom. Alright. So here, we're going to take it again right from the start. Bring it down to your bottom. Back up. Set and pull in. So now, okay. All right, it's black. What is not black? test. is add some black at this point for the body.
this is the gist of it. By using those pull techniques, you will get the butterfly effect. My colors may be a little off, but that didn't work. But we're working on that little butterfly right there. And I just take all my junk over here in my craft supplies. To just kind of shape it now. Need to get me some more black, could you? Okay, let me try this. Put this up with black. <laughs> that didn't work. So basically, it's using the technique of making your triangle, mixing your paints, pulling it in. We'll see how this turns out when it's all done. I need to add a couple of little things to it and I'll decorate, up, decorate it up. So let's check it out here. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my white and do some detailing. I like to take this little stick. Again, it's white, so... Wipe that off, sorry. Now I want to try, let's see if I can outline this a little bit. So, Trying to get some color on it to separate it.
So all I do after this, basically I'll just let it go. I could put like another different colored dot inside the white knot. torch. So all I'm going to do is just get the bubbles out. It would bring out some cells. There might be some silicone in some of this paint, but it's not a very thick paint, so you don't have to do too much. Just get the bubbles out. So that is basically how I do a butterfly. It's a quick one. It's not a perfect one, but it will dry really nice. So there you go, just for you.